a lot of companies that I know and advise, even after they've realized that Golang is the right technology for them, they're unable to build any products using Golang. And the reason for that is that there's a severe and a huge shortage of Golang developers right now in the market. So there was a shortage for Golang developers in 2020 as well, and it increased in 2021. And in 2022 and beyond, it's going to just get worse. And the fastest way that I can show you this is you can just go to Golang, or you can just go to Google and search for Golang jobs and you'll get all these websites like Indeed, Monster Jobs and Times Jobs and you can see that there are uh, thousands and thousands of applications with Golang. Uh, and now what I want to show you is that if you go to LinkedIn, which is the best uh, way to, let's say, you know, determine what's happening in the job market, is that you go for go and, go and search for Golang and you search in the United States, let's say, you'll get 22,000 results right now for open positions. And there are so many companies that are trying to promote their positions. You can see promoted, promoted, right? Promoted, promoted, promoted. So a lot of companies are promoting their positions. Whereas if somebody was hiring for Node.js or for Java, they wouldn't have to promote their positions, right? So a lot of companies are trying to promote for their job openings and the uh, number of applicants are very low. Just imagine if there was a job opening for Java or Python and somebody had, uh, you know, put a job opening, uh, there would be thousands of applications uh, at least, right? Or at least hundreds. With Golang, you can see that there are just 11 applicants, six applicants, and these are like really good companies. Uh, 11 and six applicants is what they're getting. One applicant, you can also see Chainlink Labs. It's a very, very good company, right? Chainlink. Uh, and this have one, one applicant, right? And uh, they say they're actively recruiting, but still they're having a lot of problems. So a lot of blockchain developer, uh, blockchain uh, companies are hiring, looking for Golang developers. Uh, Coinbase is looking for Golang developer, right? And uh, uh, you can see that for Coinbase, even after they've posted four days back, they just have three applicants. I mean, if you're a small company, can you imagine the amount of problem you're going to have while recruiting for people? Because if Coinbase and Chainlink are not finding people. Um, everybody is in deep, deep, deep trouble, right? So the reason why people are not, why a lot of companies are not building products with Golang is not because they don't know that it's the best language out there. They know that, they know it's the best technology, it's the fastest technology, it's best for distributed systems, right? The reason they're not doing it is because they're not finding any talent in the market. So if you are a developer, uh, you have, you like, there's a huge opportunity here. You can shift to Golang very quickly. You can find a lot of jobs and uh, the best, the fastest way to start getting jobs and start getting a lot of uh, interest is uh, by this website called Golang Cafe. You will get so many different jobs with Golang. The, the best Golang jobs uh, end up here. And the second best website is golangprojects.com. So they also have amazing, amazing jobs open, which are open right now and with all great companies. And you can find, really find really uh, easily uh, a lot of Golang jobs. Uh, so I, I advise a lot of companies, you that know that about me right by now, that I um, you know run my own tech services company, I have my own SaaS products, and I also advise a lot of startups and a lot of companies, um, and I advise them around building distributed systems or microservices, that, that kind of stuff, and Golang kind of comes around in many of those uh, uh, consultancies. And... Um, and even those companies, the, the, the really good companies, they also post jobs on Golang Projects, Golang Cafe, and then the third is LinkedIn. LinkedIn, um, you know, is where they post their jobs. So that's, that's the fastest way to start looking for jobs. Now, especially if you're in India right now, uh, let's say you're from India and uh, and you, you want to, uh, you know, uh, work with Golang, you can see that on Nokia.com, which is India's number one job site, you have 100,000 uh, Golang jobs opened up right now. And that's insane right that is insane and all of them are paying well all of them are like most of them are good companies uh, with great uh, great locations as well and many are uh, also remote uh, jobs so the problem with Golang is not that uh, there's not enough demand the problem is that there is close to uh, negligible supply of Golang developers or quality Golang developers in the market. So even if somebody is looking for uh, four years or five years of experience, you can just walk in with one year of experience and I can guarantee you that you will get a really good job with Golang. Uh, because I've seen that happen in a lot of companies that I advise, uh, even though they're looking for a five year uh, experienced developer, they have to make do with just one or two years of experience, uh, that developer that walks in. And um, this problem is going to continue for 2022 and 2023 and at least two, two to three more years. So this is a great time to learn Golang and um, make some good money. Uh, by the way, if you're trying to learn Golang, there are more than 100 videos uh, of Golang on my channel. And there are more than 40 real world projects that you can build with me in multiple playlists. I have uh, 
distribute them in multiple playlists. Go and check out the playlist section of my channel. And there are more than 40 projects. You can build them with me, put them on your portfolio. You can get easily hired uh, in any of these companies, okay? So um, do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll keep sharing such awesome content. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.